Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagrams. It says that the students of an institute enrolled in three different courses, machine learning, blockchain and digital marketing. Okay, so we'll create three circles and you can see that uh, some students can enroll in multiple courses as well. Okay, so let's mark this as machine learning, blockchain and digital marketing. Okay. Now it's uh, it gives some facts about it. So whenever you get a caselet like this, let's say Venn diagram or any other caselet. Now you are given three fourth, forty percent, twenty percent more, three uh, twice the number. We cannot use any of these statements directly unless we know the number, right? So search for some direct information. Always look for some direct information and start from that sentence. Okay. Although there are so many statements, I see the number 21 here, right? So I'll start with this statement. 21 students did not enroll for any of the certifications. Okay. So I'll put the number 21 outside. Okay. Now uh, it says one fourth of the total students enrolled in only digital marketing. Now we will also understand how to take the correct variables. Now what most students do that they will take the number of students as n. Okay, they will take total students as n. And then they will say one fourth of the total students enrolled in only digital marketing. They will put n by 4. Now this complicates the equation, right? Suppose here n by 4 aata hai, here n by 3 aata hai, it will be difficult to calculate. Okay, it will take time to add things up. So the best way is to see that if it is saying one fourth of the students, so let us say the total is 4n. Okay, now it's if I take 4n, so one fourth of the total students on, enrolled only in digital marketing. So digital marketing will become n. Okay, now let us see if we can connect any statement to this. Now if you see the first statement, it says the number of students only enrolled in only machine learning is three fourth of the number of students enrolled in only digital marketing. Okay. Now only machine learning is three fourth of this. Now again, it will become three n by four. Now what did I tell you that we have to exclude such fractions, right? Fractions take time to calculate. So what I will do is I'll further multiply this by four times. So I'll assume the total to be 16 n. Hence, this will become 4n and this will become 3n. So this is how we simplify the calculations, right? This is the this is the place where most of the people take time because they take the wrong variables. They will take total n. They will say this is uh, n by 4. Then they would have got uh, for the n by 12, right? n by 4 plus n by 12 would have taken time to add things up, right? So this is some way to simplify this. All right. Now let's see some more things. It says the number of students enrolled in only blockchain is 40% more than the number of students enrolled in blockchain and machine learning, but not digital marketing. Okay. We do not know any of the regions. Let us see if we know any of these regions. The number of students enrolled in all three courses is twice the number of students enrolled in blockchain and digital marketing, but not machine learning. Okay. So it says all three courses is twice. Okay, so all three courses, let us say this number is 2x. Okay, and uh, then uh, x is equal to blockchain and digi digital, but not machine learning. Blockchain and digital, but not machine learning. So let us take this x and 2x. Okay, so this we have done. The number of students who enrolled in both digital marketing and machine learning is 20% more than the number of students enrolled in only machine learning. Only machine learning we have used. Okay, 20% is what? 20% is 1 by 5. Okay, now if I say 1 by 5 more, okay, now you see that this is uh, 3n. Okay, so can we further simplify the calculation? See, 25% 20 means the number should be 1 fifth. Okay, so this means that number only machine learning should be a multiple of 5. So the best way to do is let us multiply everything by 5. Okay. So what we will do, this will make it 15n, 20n and 80n. Now you will see that this result, right? If you try it yourself and see, you will be able to calculate much faster. Okay. Now it says the number of students enrolled in both digital marketing and machine learning is 20% more. 20% means 3n more, so 18n. Okay. Uh, both digital marketing and machine learning. This is digital marketing and this is machine learning. So this complete, this complete region, not only this part, this complete part is 18n. Okay, this, this plus this. Okay. All right. So this is done. 
the number of students enrolled in only machine learning is three times the number of students enrolled in blockchain and machine learning but not digital marketing blockchain and machine learning but not digital marketing this thing so the number of uh, only machine learning is three times of this so this will be 5n since this is 15n this will be 5n okay this is also done all right the number of students who enrolled in both digital marketing and blockchain is the average of uh, is the average of the number of students enrolled in only digital marketing only blockchain only digital only blockchain ka average this should be 3x so let us see if we have any other information left this one the number of students enrolled in only blockchain okay uh, see it says only blockchain is 40% more than the number of students in blockchain and machine learning but not digital marketing blockchain and machine learning but not digital marketing blockchain machine learning not digital marketing is 5 and 40% is what 2 by 5 right so this will be 7n now you see that how easy it was us to take it 7n had we taken the total number of students as n then uh, it would have been n by 4 n by 12 right so complicated calculations and difficult to add in the end as well right now we are done with this so last statement it says the number of students enrolled in both digital marketing and blockchain so both digital marketing and blockchain will be combined of this that is 3x 3x is equal to average of the number of students enrolled only in digital marketing only blockchain only blockchain only digital marketing 27 average is 13.5 n okay so x you can say that 4.5 n if 3x is equal to 13.5 n x will be 4.5 n okay so we can substitute the values here we'll get 4.5 n we'll get 9 n now this total was 18n so this remaining portion will be 9n okay now when we add all these values plus 21 the total number is 80n so let's add this 22 42 42 plus 18 is 60 65 uh, 65 plus 4.5 uh, 69.5n plus 21 is 80n okay so that gives you 10.5 n is equal to 21 or n is equal to 2 okay so see if had we taken total number of students as n the calculation would have been too much cumbersome right so that's why i said that you should take relevant variables that is the key to solving such problems so n is equal to 2 let's just calculate these values 30 10 14 9 18 18 40 so this should be the values we can check the values 40 plus uh, 36 76 90 130 139 160 so this completes the total values and you can verify the statements later to check that all values are coming correct okay so now let us answer the questions right so what is the total number of students in the institute we know the total number of students is 160 how many students enrolled only in blockchain only blockchain is 14 how many students enrolled in digital marketing so when it says digital marketing you should calculate the total circle okay not only 40 okay so this is 36 plus 49 85 how many students enrolled in both machine learning and blockchain certifications both machine learning and blockchain right so uh, this is machine learning this is blockchain so total is 28 we should pay attention to the words like not as well it is not saying not uh, digital marketing so we will include 18 also how many students enrolled in at least two certifications at least two means two certifications or three certifications so 45 plus 10 55 how many students enrolled in at most two certifications at most two certifications means zero certification one certification or two certification right so instead of counting all those we can subtract total minus three certifications that will be easy right total is 160 
okay and 18 people enrolled in three certifications right so the answer will be 142 okay so remember that at most two will you will include zero also some students do not include zero they get it wrong okay so this was uh, an interesting set right uh, it uh, we learned that how to take relevant variables so that uh, the calculation is simplified so this is the solution to the questions uh, to the set and the answers to the questions asked